Welcome, I'm the Emperor, this is Crusader Kings 3, and I play in a way where I try to explain stuff for you. We're playing live over on Twitch, so come check out that. And we are taking questions from chat if there are any. Otherwise, I just kind of go along, play the game the way I know how to play the game. I explain what I do while I'm doing it, not for every single instance. Some things I've covered before, so I won't read out everything that we see. I won't talk about every possible positive negative outcome. I'll take moments for things that are a little bit more dangerous and difficult. So if we encounter something that might hinder you in your playthrough, then we're going to take the time to really consider it. If I actually notice and don't get fully distracted, because that, of course, would... Um, yeah, well. So we are playing Ireland. Uh, check out the whole playlist. And uh, right now we're kind of trying to take over most of the British Isles. We have formed the Empire of Britannia, called the High Kingdom of Alba at the moment. And we are still looking to subjugate everything that is part of our domain, as far as we are concerned. So we have some holdouts here, the Kingdom of Wessex. We have some pieces here, uh, the Duchy of Galer holds some stuff of ours, and Francia. The Empire of Francia is holding something as well. But we are allied with the Franks, so right now we're not looking to take anything from them. Now, let us get going here. We are currently in raiding monas, which we can do because we are still a tribal ruler. Uh, we're looking to reform, so once we reform, that falls away. And reforming will cost us a bunch of money because we are going to have to build a bunch of stuff. So we want to have the best possible income situation before that transpires. So onward we go with our raiding party here. Make sure that if we have one, uh, that we can go ahead and um, put in a raid-related leader that is just actually a full-on raider. This guy here, he has the little reaver thing. So... Him being the one reaving will be very beneficial. So now we're looking to wage war against them soon anyhow. So they raised in defense of their lands their little army here. Which is meant to repel us. And we're going to fight them. Okay, we're not going to fight them. We're going to turn back, leave the gold at home. And then we're going to come back. Put in a better commander. So we actually have a chance at fighting them and winning. So we're going to take in our proper good holy warrior commander here and as you can see just switching out the commander changes the whole thing it changes it it's completely mad but that's how it works so we just go ahead and just get right in there get right ahead and attack that thing head on so what do we have a change in direction we're sponsoring an, an inspiration so uh something is going on there uh, we're looking in the tooltips. Like if you wanna, if you wanna get in kind of quick there, you can go ahead and be like, okay, I wanna get something that is a little bit more, say, positive, right? So you look for the option that has the most green text, basically. And then once you found the option that has the most green text for you, hey, yo, rookie second, welcome back. So nice to have you. We've managed affiliate. Can you believe it? Anyway, so you're looking in the tooltips, you're looking for green text. The more green text, the better. And once you have found the option which has the most green text, then you start reading the option. If you want to get in a little bit quicker. Because honestly, the options with all red text, that they don't really matter at all. Why would you really parse them? Why would you t spend time on that? That's crazy. So this one here has green text. This one here only has red text. So obviously we look at the green text containing option. But we see it will cost us money. However... We're raiding anyway, so getting extra money in there will get a higher quality inspiration results in the end. So we'll spend the money and take a little bit of red, but a lot of green, and uh, rather than only red. So we'll go there. But not every red is the same red as other reds. Eh? Some reds aren't as horrible. <laughs> For example, you're perfectly fine taking an opinion penalty on some dunce or dot. So... There you go there. Uh, how are you doing, Rookie? How are things? So right now we're looking to raid the next thing. And we're going to go straight for his capital. Thing is, we just beat his army. Which is great for us. Because 
now when we go for war uh, proper with them they will have less troops ready we will too because we lost a bunch of troops but we're not even raiding with everything that we can raise so we're in a decent spot and he really really isn't and we're gonna take the rest of his gold as well and there's a little bit more to be had not exactly the 60 that we just spent ah let's switch out the guy here so we got this guy but you need to be careful if you put in a worse leader for a certain trait that makes sense in the moment oh really <laughs> oh come on now <laughs> thank you so much for the subscription can't believe it that's crazy that's crazy are you sure <laughs> i think you can refund that really quick as well <laughs> welcome you're 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 taking the first you you were here first absolutely no question <laughs> crazy oh man that's fantastic. Oh boy. Okay, you- okay. Alright, you wanna take all the first. <laughs> Holy sh- Dude, are you sure? <laughs> Thank you so much. That's- that's insane. What? Oh my god. Okay, I'm- I'm reacting a little bit to, uh, to- I should probably put that up there. Uh, yeah, I don't think you see that in Twitch chat, apparently. But there's a bunch of gifted tier subs, so uh, thank you so much, Rookie Second, for the gifted subs and the sub. That's crazy. I appreciate it. Uh, you, 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 I think, I don't think you even need to qualify in, all, in any way whatsoever uh, for the giveaway I, I got planned for around Christmas. <laughs> you're, just, you're just gonna get um, the DLC. You're just gonna get one. That's, that's a given now. <laughs> Good God! All right. Um, if if you want one, anyway, that that's. Um, but you might be one of those people like me who just always buys all the DLC. Anyway, I'm gonna have a little giveaway around Christmas on Twitch. Um, I'm not quite sure which day yet, but around there, uh, I'll I'll stream a bunch, I think. And uh, yeah, there will be giveaways for DLC. All righty. Maybe even the base game, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm totally confused. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about doing a little giveaway of Crusader Kings 3, the base game, and also some DLC. So, um, yeah, that's what I was thinking to do. Just as a little bit of a thanks for helping uh, me reach affiliate by all these guys that have been coming around, including you. So, alrighty. Plus, I'm hoping there's going to be a sale, so that's going to be a little bit cheaper for me. <laughs> but, you know. You cannot... Infra team, Sally, you cannot hear you for now. As now it's an infra team. Um, what's going on? Can you hear me? Oh, oh okay. You're, you're, you're in a meeting. All right. <laughs> no worries. No worries. All right. We are, uh, we are done with um, plundering our neighbor. So we're just going to head back over into our own, own realm to drop off our loot. Once we have done so, honestly, nah, we'll, we'll drop it off. If we want to raid the French, they are our allies. I'm not, I'm not that kind of enemy, but I don't, I don't mind raiding Galere. Though we need to check. Oh, they are now part of Frisia, so. Oh yeah, Frisia might raise some troops, but they don't really have anything to... Uh, get there. Ah, oh, no worries. No worries at all. And we'll just take this little bit of a church and this little bit over there. Our troops are fine. Good supply. we still got the reaver in. I mean, just look at that speed along. That's crazy. The, does Wessex have anything new? Have they replenished elsewhere? No, they have not. So we can just go back home. That's all nice and dandy. And we returned with a lot of gold. Now we're going to disband our troops because we're looking to take on Wessex in earnest. They have one ally. <laughs> and uh, the thing is, sadly, no one here actually has proper uh, claims on it. So we can't go for the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of Wessex. We can go for only one of these. 
So if we take a Wessex, which I would be a little bit more inclined to do, because let's look, um, everything that has a name written here is a county. So we want to take the most counties in one go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, whereas the Kingdom of England is only one, two, three, four, five, six. So two less counties which we would take. So I think the county, uh, the Kingdom of Wessex makes more sense at this very point in time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to attack that. And um, let's get going in on that one with 500 prestige to spend. That is perfectly fine. Uh, cultural acceptance between Irish and Anglo-Saxons goes down. We can deal with it. We can live with it. That's fine. Uh, we, of course, have way more money. We have may mo way more troops. Now, we're attacking down here. So we're going to siege this stuff. But his holding our... Like, his main holding, his capital is right there. It could make sense to attack there. But we're not going to. We are going to raise all here. Now, he has a lot less troops than us. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to raise absolutely everything we got. So we're going to look at our troops and see once we're around, like, say, 6,000 or so. That's about 6,000. Yep. More or less right there. So now we're going to stop gathering because your men-at-arms are usually really in there real, real quickly. So now we can just go and attack. And we're going to go and attack a little bit closer to our own borders where we do not have to cross a river. Because right here, through the Thames, we are a little bit cut off from everything. <laughs> Great, you you saw when I'm streaming on Lemmy World? That's, that's fantastic. Crazy that the Lemmy pipeline is just working like that. Alright, now we have some siege weapons. We have a military in engineer in place, which we absolutely want to have and do. Because that is just really, really good stuff. You want to be sure that your troops can actually get through the enemy defenses, which without siege weapons is um, arguably a little bit harder. You can see the difference right there. He has 10 Onaga, we have uh, 50. So ours is a little bit better. Now, obviously, that's not always the case. So 10 versus 50 doesn't make that much of a difference. But um, there is a good potential that you get further. Our uh, siege progress, you can see, is 2.5 per day. And if we check his siege progress, it's 1.3 per day. So that's much less. Uh, meaning our siege will be done far quicker than his siege. We have a few days left. He has, like, almost half a year left. Yeah. Six months, possibly. So, we're getting in there. We're taking them out. Let's go. And once we've taken something, we're just gonna go attack them. Because I don't really care for him taking anything. I'd rather beat him once or twice. And since we're not crossing a river or anything, I don't really mind doing that. We're crossing a river here, but we're not crossing a river into this barony. So, in between where we went from here to there, there's nothing holding us back. And since he's attacking us here... Oh no. Uh, our Master of Hunt died here. Whoops. That's not great. We'll have to check our council, potentially. Or rather check who's the next uh, ruler of... What was that? Mercia? Yeah, Mercia. So... The new ruler of Mercia needs to become our friend. They already like us well enough because, oh, they are actually of our dynasty. What are you to us? Oh, you're my chancellor and vassal. I can't befriend. Why can I not befriend? Did I get something? Dungal's milk tooth. Masterwork prize ring. Why am I not wearing that? Because it's actually not that great. <laughs> All right, so a lot of things happened. Our uh, Duke of Mercia died. Shame. And apart from that, we lost an alliance with him. Of course, we see he's dead. We could try and see if we can't negotiate a new alliance, but I don't think we can, so... That's really not an option. So we're just going to go back to sieging. Again, we're up to 2.3 progress per day, which is fairly click, uh, quick. Ooh. 
Yes, you found the new emotes. Uh, I, I did a few. I need help. I need help. This this goes out to YouTube as well. Uh, check out the Lemmy world. If you if you have emote suggestions, post them there or or hit me up on Mastodon. Either way, if, if you've got emote suggestions, let me hear it. I just kind of fiddled around with it a little bit with it. But <laughs> uh, yeah, some of these are just Twitch general basic ones, but I would like to have something more, you know, us here. Check in the in the free one, I think. Um, the the free tier of of uh, emotes that that has a little bit more as an option, I think. Um, I haven't really. I got affiliate today, and and the options are just so immense compared to what you have if you're not. Uh, it took me like four or five hours to just kind of get through all what's there and try and understand it. That's it. Um, so this guy whose inspiration we've been sponsoring, we had this decision earlier where we gave him an extra 60 gold, has turned out really, really well because he came back with a blue, uh, which is, I don't actually know, is it rare, it's good, it's, it's famed, it's famed, it says right there, famed regalia. So, um, let's see, I return from Europe with an artifact from my journey. I take the bulky bundle into my hands and loosen the cords before peeling a layer away of the fabric. Inside lies regalia fit for a royal court. Louis smiles proudly and explains to me he won the gratitude of a local ruler in Zarand. A long tale that culminates in this ruler's offering, the Carolis regalia, to Louis's master. It is magnificent. Now he becomes an adventurer and I get that thing because I paid for it. So let's let's check it out. By the way, I really like the flavor text on these. So, an ornate regalia set of masterful craftsmanship consists of a silver scepter set with a piece of zircon, a wool cloak that has been embroidered with silk thread and a silver cross bearing orb. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good evening, Bira, and welcome back. So nice to have you again. Or is it Captain Bira? It's Captain Bira. So sorry. Captain? I don't, I don't want to lose your ranks in there. Um, all right. Fair warning. We've made affiliates, so there might be ads. I, I, I have very little control over that, it appears. Um, I have some control over it, but I'm figuring things out, so... Yeah, no. Anyway, let's check out what this regalia can do. First of all, famed regalia, so nice, long... Uh, thank you so much. Nice, long uh, durability. This will last us 100 years. And it gives us a lot of stuff, honestly. Piety plus 0 0.5 is strong. That's a lot of piety. 0 0.06 prestige, not so much, but... We get some extra more if we put powerful vassals on the council, which, if you've watched me a little bit and a bunch, you will know I don't <laughs> don't very often put people on the council that are powerful vassals, because I go by merit. My councillors need to be the best at what they do to deserve the councillorship is how it goes. So, uh, scheme power, plus 12 for seduce. Not bad. Glory hound, vassal opinion. Plus 5, it does not say how many we have here, which is, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much for the gift sub. That's amazing. Oh, look at that. Hey, the, 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 the little, the little sub icons are in there. You can, you can even see them on YouTube in the Twitch chat. Look at that. It's the little, it's the little imp crown thing from the, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> oh, this is fun. That's great. Ah, yes, indeed. Rookie second is absolutely a madman. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Thank you so much. All right, let's see. Gain the trait wounded. Nay, that's crazy. Gain infected wound. Okay. Um, my champion is a little bit wounded with an infected wound, but we have more things to consider. We need to put in our new regalia. So this is what we have currently. Not nearly as as good, so clearly we're gonna get with the Caroli's Regalia. And this thing here we are simply going to destroy because it gives us money. What we could do instead, instead of destroying it, we could give it to our heir. So 
Why would we want to give that to our heir? First of all, I need to find the, the darn thing. I don't do it enough. So, why would we give it to our heir? Because while he holds it, he gets all this stuff. You know, his prestige, his piety, all that pumps up. So once he becomes our new ruler, he's going to be a little bit better for it. So, you know, that's something we absolutely want to do. So, um, let's give him the regalia. We could, of course, destroy it, get ourselves some money out of it. Sure. Oh, he's a strong vassal. Are you good at anything? Intrigue. Ah, there's already a strong dude there. Actually, we have a lot of strong vassals on the court. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, the council is quite strong vassal here. Okay, we could call in our ally, which we're definitely not going to do. Uh, we're fine. Let's check that this man is having children. Oh, look at that. He's having children. And one of these is actually a... Uh, a passable commander and knight. Better of a knight than a commander. So that's what... Oh, wait. Is he married? No. You are... What? Huh? I'm so confused. You are married to her. Why do you look so different here? Oh, because... Ah, all right, okay. That's a regent. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Got it. No worries. Figure it all out. How are you guys doing tonight, anyway? I'm so happy you guys could make the time come out here. Join me. While we unite all of the British Isles. And again... The Vesexians are trying their luck here. Okay. Um, hmm. I think I'd rather spend gold and get the learning thing. Stone of glass. All right. Nothing short of a miracle. With the aid of a stone of glass, even an old man struggling with bad eyesight could read with ease. Hmm. Learning lifestyle. We are working on learning lifestyle. So... 300. Do we want to give him a weak hook on us, our patriarch? I don't like that. I don't like giving weak hooks. Sell everything which is impossible to read. No, 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 no. Let's come. Let's let's get some glasses. I mean... Gotta stay true to the persona here. Right? Um, okay, we, we won another siege, which is lovely, but our enemy is doing things again. Now, here, we would cross a small river. So, what we're gonna go... We're gonna move a little bit different. You can just click here and then sh hold on shift and then click again. And that way it does a path. Otherwise, if I just clicked here, it would take the shortest path. But we want to go the proper path because we don't want to cross this little river here. You can barely see it, but it is there. And we don't want to cross it. If we attack from this barony, it's all fine. Nothing's gonna happen. If we attack from this barony, we will cross a river, giving us a disadvantage in attacking our enemy. Now, the enemy is weak and foul, and he flees like a group of washerwomen beset by a hound pack of wolves. <laughs> that made all a lot of sense. Trust me on this one. Alright, very good. So, we took him down, and since we're right there... We're gonna go siege his capital. He forced this decision on us. We were fine sieging in the south. He forces us to keep coming north. So now we stay north. All right, let's see. The Christian play in London. It has been brought to my attention that a renowned Christian playwright intends to hold a performance of his work titled A Passion of the Lord. A piece. Uh, the price of admission is steep, but this is likely a once in a lifetime opportunity to witness. This play with my own eyes. A pious night at the theater it is. There's a chance to get a lifestyle perk point, which is uh, something we definitely do want. Let's see. I could write better than this. Hmm, we might gain that. So, as we watch the play unfold, it quickly becomes clear why it is uh, that he is known as a literary genius. 
the prose, the performance, all of it makes me feel as though I'm witnessing the events of the scriptures unfold in front of me, as if I were there to behold God's work for myself. Once the play is drawn to close, I will find myself alone with the author. And I'll tell him, brother, I can do better. <laughs> so we have 29 learning. Here's uh, eight. We are definitely going to take uh, the learning challenge against him. I could write better than this. We surely could. Oh, look at that. We have a little, little nice little perk here. And we want uh, increased development in county efficiency plus 20%. Let me check real quick what our, what our, what our lad is doing here. He's collecting taxes. Uh, he needs to stop collecting taxes. He needs to go increase development. That's what he needs to do. Okay. So now, it has been quite some time since I originally vowed to outdo the inferior work of Bui. And as the ink on my scribes grows, ink of my scribes grows dry, I admire my own work. Mephistopheles' Inferno is a work deserving of being called a masterpiece. By my own humble reckoning, the only question that remains is who should play the lead role? Myself in disguise, of course, so we would be in a match of diplomacy against him, and our diplomacy is pretty high. Um, diplomacy challenge, we will attempt to outperform in a duel using a diplomacy skill. Uh, we could send someone else to do it, but our diplomacy skill is very high, so we in disguise will do it. Of course, we personally. So our play, we'll take care of it. And it did work out because we're just so much better. Um, I take a breath and prepare to perform my play, assured that it will be impeccable with the me here to deliver its pious message. I take a deep breath and recite my lines flawlessly, the audience surrounding me falling captive to my words. I enlighten them with my masterful interpretation of the tales from the scriptures. As the crowd erupts into applause, I am assured that I outdid myself and showed a buoy how a real insularist writes a play. And now we get our learning lifestyle perk for basically free, just because we're that good. And we get some piety and some prestige. Fantastic stuff right there. And we could go for scholarly circles, giving us some extra devotion. Uh, or we can go for pedagogy, increasing additional skills... Uh, for our woods. Um, let's see. Let's see real quick. Let's have a let's have a quick checker here. So this guy, he's 15. We could still make him our ward for a second. So we'll take that pedagogy. Like he's he's about to turn 16, so he can't have a someone educating him anymore. But, um, so he, us, let's go. So we offer him our guardianship. And it says he will soon be an adult. But I'm hoping that this last minute intervention here will help shape him a little bit. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. All right. Okay. There we go. Um, I'm not sure if you guys... Can you guys see that? I, I said it to give like a little warning before an ad break comes up. That's something I wanted to do. And for me, it says in three minutes or something, there's going to be an ad break. Um, Duke Gregory gains the trait insightful thinker. All right. Comes of age. Very good. Despite being a curious child, eager to learn, Gregory's attention drifted elsewhere when he grew older. I mean, it's not great. It's not bad. He's very intrigued. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, he's all right. He's all right. Let's uh, let's ward all the other kids then. Let's get everyone else warded here. Uh, let's check our own succession list, really. And. Okay, Intrigue is where he's good. But this guy is also good. Well, nah, he, he has to stay off the council. So, 
who is in our succession line? Oh, God. F2 for succession. And we'll see. So this guy is kind of becoming the next Irish king. So let's go and offer guardianship for him. And our nephew is already grown, so that doesn't happen, really. But there's another child here, isn't there? Why do I always click the wrong one? <laughs> no! See, this is why I don't play uh, first-person shooters. I can't even properly hit a little unmoving text box. That's the thing. Alright, so let's have some guardianship. Maybe we can improve some of these kids a little bit. And our enemy is sieging us down, but we are sieging his capital, which... in in essence, if, if you have a really, really hard war where you don't know exactly how you're going to win and everything looks a little bit lost, if you can get to their capital and siege that before they win the war, that often is a very, very, very good situation for you to be in. Because you have a chance of getting a good hostage in there. Possibly even the leader of who you're fighting. All right? So that is a fantastic thing to get into. Absolutely recommended. This can change wars. Of course, it kind of sucks a little bit when you do that and you don't get the great hostage out of it and then you're a little bit stuck. But honestly, the war was lost anyway. It's a little bit of a Hail Mary play. Speaking of Hail Mary plays, we need to give our little sunny boy here a uh, a woman, a wife. So let's put the age difference to five. He needs to marry soon so he can have a lot of kids very soon. That is something uh, near and dear to my heart and important. So let's see, is there anyone with a green little uh, chevron here? It's, it's an upturned square. We don't want anything with a red one. We want something with a green one. But Oh, there she is. 20 years old Amazonian. Bourgeois de Vienne. A French lady from the barony of Jeanville. Now, that is a horrible, 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 horrible alliance to have. But it is very, very good... For us, and if you followed along this series a little bit, we have been working uh, to get in our dynasty thingy this time around because I'm trying to play a little bit more optimized, slightly. Whoops, wrong button. Um, in our dynasty here, in our legacies, we are going for noble veins. So, good traits are more common in our bloodline now, and getting them in is super important. So, an Amazonian might pass it on. Good thing. You want that. You for sure want that. Even if you don't take the kinship dynasty legacy, it is also important to still try and find uh, positive traits to inherit into your family. Especially if you're not uh, lacking for proper alliances. If you really need a lot of alliances, if you need a lot of good, big things to take care of, um, you should make sure that you find a good alliance rather than someone who has a good positive trait but since we don't really need alliances at the moment we're kind of strong for the moment uh, this will change oh look at that a faction oh all right so peasant rebel is uh cropping up there okay fine they have 12 percent military power but the peasants they might be able to just go and attack you you know even if they don't have the power to really do anything to you. And we got a nice little prisoner, I think. If you look at that, 25% war school because we captured his heir. Now, we're 1% away from winning this. We're also losing a lot of troops to attrition here. Because we are undersupplied heavily. And um, we need to go somewhere. At this point, he's going to retake that. So that will set us back a little bit. Um, and we have to stop him from taking another thing. Basically. Otherwise, I would stop my troops right now and stop them from starving. Uh, but we can't really afford that. So we have to walk through and we have to fight again. You don't want to do that. Trust me. We are only doing it because we have ten times the numbers. We have defeated him before. He's not going to win this. But... We desperately need to go somewhere else and resub... Oh, well, we don't. We can just win this. Done. Disband everyone. And we're good. So now we have taken over the kingdom of Wessex. And, well, 
We have taken Southern Wessex anyway. We could usurp his little title. I think. Can we? Let me see. Can we usurp his little title? Oh. A memory of the Bishop Eithne artifact. I was saying, Some moments must be recorded. Forever the time that my first child, Eithne, a beautiful girl, was born to my wife, Cesarea, is one of them. Such an incredible memory must be preserved for all time. My mastery of the Gerdelic language would make penning this a trivial matter. Uh, sure, okay, we'll do that. We get a little bit of an artifact out of it. Probably not worth it, money-wise. Speaking of money-wise, worth it. So we still hold his heir, but I wanted to see if we can usurp that title. Let's see. No, we cannot. Because he's currently fighting another war. Can't usurp titles that are in a war. So what are you fighting? Oh, look at that. He's... Okay, he's being invaded by Northmen. That is good for us. Because if the Northmen take over his stuff, then we can just take him down. Basically. Uh, but we're above our domain limit because we got some new stuff in here. Dover and uh, Reading and Gloucester is, I'm sure, the correct pronunciation. So we're just going to go keep... Gloucester. And we're gonna give away a Dover to you. Uh, because, well, they want the Chieftain of Kent. You can have it. And reading belongs to what? To this thing? So, who in there could use a little bit more stuff? Uh, I'll, I'll just give it to him proper. You can have Berkshire. Let's go. Making him a little bit stronger and him hating us a little bit less. But we need to get going on uh, becoming feudal, honestly. We'll have to fight the peasants first, but let's check out our little court event. Sell your lies elsewhere. A peddler in a cloak, dozens of baubles and knickknacks soon into it rattles up to me. I have written me a precious... Uh, no, I have with me a precious weapon, only worth of your hands. The Holy Lance of Antioch, the Spear of Destiny itself. <laughs> yes, yes. For sure. <laughs> uh, sell your lies elsewhere, go away. I don't even get another option, so we'll just go with that. Court Artifacts. Oh, yes, we got another book here. So this is the memory of Bishop Eithne that we built, that we made. A little bit of prestige, a little bit of renown, a little bit of grandeur, a little bit of learn scheme, power for learning languages. So we just put it there. Because we have a slot open anyhow, might as well do that. I'm still happy and, ch and chuffed that we got a throne. That's kind of crazy. So this place here has little low, a little bit low control. Could be a good idea to invest that. Uh, Middlesex has less, actually. Let's get some control going in our home countries here. And we can't attack them for a while because we now are in a truce. But uh, we'll, we'll come there. Question is, will we take on Frisia for Lancashire? Lancashire? Lancashire. I think we will. But we'll wait for the, for the rabble to rabble around. Now, they're not going to be a threat to us, but I don't like having to divert my attentions during a war. Oh, we also have this, all this. Oh, right. Let me check how many duchy titles I have real quick. Some. This duchy title we do not have. We could have it. Um, Okay. Victory. You want me to pay this ransom? I don't care. Sure. And you want me to pay this ransom? Sure. But do I still have your heir? Oh, no, you're a new leader. Wait, are you new? No, you're not. Yes, I still have his heir <laughs> in my prison. <laughs> so the good thing is, uh, we will just start with positive war score in the next war against him. That's basically how it works. So this guy, exempt from anything, he's going to stay in prison. He's not going to come out of prison anymore. So, that's kind of nice for us. Um, let's check our decisions. 
Adopt Tudal Ways. Okay, what are we not doing? 70% military, civic, and tribal area innovations. Yeah. So, yeah, we're lagging behind a little bit. And there's really not much we can do but push and hope. So we'll have to live for a whole while on the highest tribal authority until we can become feudal. So that's a bit of a problem, I would say. Can we build something at home? Can we construct a new holding? No, we cannot because we're a tribe at the moment. Can we build anything here? Yes, we could. Can't upgrade the castle, but we can upgrade the bailey. So we'll do that. Everything we can upgrade right now, we already will upgrade. Which is not a lot. Because our government type is tribal. I'm not going to upgrade uh, Goldcaster or Gloucester or Colchester or whatever the heck these places are called here. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. The Wessexian allies are trying to fight the Northmen. I have a feeling they might lose that. They want the Duchy of East Anglia. So I, I'm assuming this is this. You can see the blue border slightly there. And once the Northmen take it, we can just go take it back from them. It's all very neat and tidy for us. Very neat and tidy. So this lad can go away. I don't care. They can go away. And this last can also go away. All good by me. So why do you hate us? What's going on here? Short reign, offensive rule, cultural acceptance. Ah, come on now. Convert. That'll that'll help us see more eye to eye, huh? And why is our son constantly sick? We need some conversions here at home. They are literally people who are not believing in the right thing. Unacceptable stuff. I could look at this a little bit easier by checking the vassals. And then just kind of going through here. Checking for insularism. The little extra cool cross we got. And you just kind of go through them. And everyone who is an insular. Like these two. Which we already told to go convert. That's kind of our issue. There's another Catholic. They might keep press practicing their religion in secret, but what do I care? I would like them to be openly supporting the correct faith. Okay, so the peasants are now rising against us. Rally the troops. That's where they are. Blessed be God. Uh, there are some conversions fluttering in. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Now, the problem with these guys is not that they are strong, but that they are fleeing. <laughs> so, let's get only our men-at-arms. And we'll send them after them. We might catch them before they get on the boats. We're definitely going to catch them before they get on the boats. Because they're just doing this weird little dance here. They don't even have a commander. Okay, where's the rest of them? Ah, down here. Alrighty. That's why they wanted to get on the ship, because they wanted to go closer to, uh... Longkesten. Longchesten. Longkesten? Longkesten? Longkesten. In Cornwall. Cornwall, I can't pronounce. Longkesten, not so much. I don't know exactly. We still have our little starting thing, Ormond, over there. That's very cute. But we're gonna lose all that in succession. So, our little girl becomes a flamboyant trickster, and her twin brother becomes a insightful thinker. Nothing to write home about. Let's go marry here. Even more Amazonians coming in. Very good. And our army, just our men at arms, fine enough. We don't need to raise, like, thousands of people to beat a few hundred peasants, because they are literally just that peasants. They have a they have a leader who's pretty good. 32. That's a big command advantage for sure. But with that much of a troop difference in quality, it doesn't really matter. So we enforce our demands. Which is cool because this guy who's a really, 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 really good leader. We can now go ahead, negotiate a release, demand conversion and recruit him. And he will then 
become the right religion and he will come work for us. And that early on is a really, really good way to get great commanders, honestly. So he kind of hates us, you know, who wouldn't? Let's give him a wife, lustful wife. Maybe they can make a giant babies. But let's make sure that we have our good knights in here. So, where is he? There he is, 14. We have a whole lot of options here, honestly. Look at that. A 25 dude for 35 gold would take him. Uh, let's also give him a wife. So, they have a lot of children who will then become our vassals and our courtiers who will then potentially become more soldiers for the causes that we have. Okay, our marshal and champion won't be forced. This guy will be forced. This guy will be forced. This guy will be forced. No, our marshal and champion shouldn't be forced. The people I like and who like me, I try not to force. Okay, we can create an accolade or can we get an, an active one? Oh yeah, actually. We can get our inactive ones ready. So that's pretty neat. So we don't have to create a new one. Are you actually winning? Managing? Nah, he's not. <laughs> he's not winning or managing. You know what? We could we could try a prediction thing on Twitch. Uh, we could try a prediction. Predict whether or not uh, Wessex will successfully defend against this invasion. Just because I want to try that thing. Let's let let's let's have go and try that. Um, let's see. Twitch. Where do I need to go? I need to go. Where do I need to go? There. So we're going to go start a prediction. Will Wessex fend off the northern invaders? And it'll be yes. No, they will lose. And the submission period is 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds to cast your votes. How far does the map extend eastwards in CK3? I'll show you in a second. We'll start the prediction real quick. Confirm. Uh, we'll need to confirm the outcome within 24 hours. Okay, sure. Let's see. So prediction is started, I think. So now you should get a little pop-up where you can do a prediction uh, with your channel points or something. <laughs> I think that's what it looks like. Um, how far does the map expand eastward in Crusader Kings 3? Let me show you. It's actually quite more generous than in Crusader Kings 2. Uh, this is already how it started, basically. This is not any DLC. Nothing was added later. This is how the game started. Uh, this is the full extent. So we have the whole of India. We have some bits and pieces over there. Um, which I'm not going to name because, honestly, I'm not quite sure what all that is. Nepal is somewhere here. Uh, I'm not sure if this is like bits and pieces of, of China, maybe. I, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to show my pure and utter geographical ignorance. Uh, we got Mongolia, of course. They really don't want to show China. They they they, they do not. But we got all, almost all of Africa. Well, North Africa, anyhow. So it is it is a lot more generous than it was in uh, CK2. So that's something, at least I would say. Um, isn't it? I think that's kind of positive. <laughs> um, and maybe they do add China. What I would like to see is actually China and Japan, you know, ha have a little bit more over there because uh, that's a lot of interesting cultures. But then again, might this kill the game? Because the Clausewitz engine is just, oh, oh, it's, it's trying. It's trying its hardest, you'd be sure. But uh, it's just, <laughs> I don't know how to say this. It's not great. Um, though Crusader Kings 3 works surprisingly well. But I fear if they add more like that... I hope they don't half it like they did in Crusader Kings 2 with this little pop-up thing and China just being a thing that exists on the side. I hope they don't do it like that anymore. That was... They did them dirty. I don't think that was proper. So right now... Um, 
They're at minus 69, uh, 69%. Nice. So, we'll see. We'll see. They Do they even have a chance? I mean, they have allies. From among my own people, even. So, if they do really smart things, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Can they? I kind of want to speed up now just to see how it goes, uh, how, how it ends. We are... Okay, yeah, he, he's... He's lifting the siege. He's taking back his territory. While the enemy is taking new territory. So this might be a little bit of a back and forth for a while. And while we sit and wait, we might just go take on Frisia. Because they have nothing. And we're not going to go uh, conquer a whole duchy. We just want this bit there. We don't care about the rest. We just want this bit. Just the oldum of Lancashire. That's all that we rightly deserve. He will have 5,750 troops. So we're going to have to raise everything. To fend off him and his ally. Though no, he actually... No, he, he doesn't. Because this guy is our own vassal. So, and our friend. He's not going to come to his aid. Excuse me, Frisia. Our very nicely colored blue troops will have to take you down a peg or two. So we'll wait a moment, but I think we can already stop some of these gathering. Now, if you do it like that, like I'm doing, and your men at arms haven't gathered yet, you need to go in there and click raise men at arms again. Because the men at arms might have been raised in one of those things where you stop the raising of the troops. So we now just go in there. I don't care about the gr court grandeur thing. Go away. We just care about getting Lancashire into the fold. Oh no. Saying goodbye. Our best friend Geberge dies. I need to be strong and move forward. So either we have a mental breakdown right now, more or less. I mean, there's a chance, you know, there's a 20% chance. Um, I'll, I'll leave it up to chat. Chat, you can decide. What do we take? Do we take the option where we might become melancholic or do we take the even worse option where we definitely get uh, ongoing heartache for 30 years? 30. So earlier I said, take the one that has less red. This is one of those situations where... This has only red and this has some green. So let's see, chat. What, what what have we learned? Where do we go? I will never forget this day. We have one vote for that. I'm, I'm kind of agreeing with this so far. Let's see if anyone else wants to pitch in. Like, the 22% chance to become melancholic isn't that bad. It's not great. It really isn't. You don't want to be melancholic if you can avoid it. But it isn't that bad compared to this. This is kind of horrible. Um, so we have one vote for that. And I think we're just going to go with it. We'll click that. And we got the best option as well. We lost stress instead of anything bad happening. Well, I think this has happened a lot on this uh, particular event for me. I, I tend to get the good option. I'm not quite sure why. Feels rigged. Let's group our army. We select them. We press G. Sometimes we have to D and reselect them a bunch. I don't, I'm not quite sure why that is. Uh, but it doesn't always work. The advantage of having your troops grouped is you can make sure that they have the very best commander. And you don't need to control them. You can always just select them all. It doesn't really matter. Um... But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, f I find it organizing and everything is a little bit easier like that. It's a habit as well from Crusader Kings too. Let's see. Different culture opinion plus 15. Cultural acceptance. Ah, I don't care. Let's go learning per level of devotion plus 2. We're right now at level 29 and we get 35. <laughs> Ooh. Don't we love it when our points just really go up, especially since the learning trait directly influences, I think, how fast this stuff goes. And we need to get that to become feudal. So we're almost done here. 
Our enemy has not yet... Oh, I think they have actually raised all their troops. Again, our vassal can't join in a war against us. They cannot, unless it's a rebellion from within. They can't join an outside force fighting against us. That is not possible. However, outside forces can join our vassals fighting against us. If they are allied with our vassals as they rise from within us. So, do make sure these little nuances aren't lost on ya. Alrighty. So, at this point, we got the maximum we can get out of killing them. We can just wait. The war score held from objectives will tick up as long as we hold the war goal. Uh, fighting him won't help us anymore. Like, it's not going to give us more money or anything. Uh, or it's not going to give us any further war score. But, depending on who's leading it, we might get a cool hostage or two out of it. So, it's still worthwhile fighting him. As he runs away. I'm not quite sure where he's going. There. We'll just try and catch him. Okay, he decides to not go. He decides to not go. This war is decided. And East Anglia was taken by the Northmen. So how do I finish this prediction now? Uh, I go here. I click that. So I click choose outcome and the outcome was no, they will lose. Complete prediction. Uh, are you sure that is the correct outcome? Yes, they lost. So congratulations for everyone who uh, got the prediction correct. The Northmen did indeed fend off the defenders. Successfully overcame the defenders that way. Okay, so our enemy is going to try and retake what we have taken from him. So now it's a little bit easier to try and catch him. And since we have sieged this, since this is our controlled territory now, that will be an easy taking for us. Right away we go there. Hold court. Sure, while our troops are in the field, why not hold court? First petitioner, please. Thank you. Uh, no, I don't want a cadastral survey. That's a lot of money. Let's see, what do you want? My leash. While Constantine is correct in his assessment th that it is the preacher's only flaw, everything she teaches is in according with our faith. Um, preacher is loved by, his, by the peasants. Could imprison Emir. Do we see that person? No. Nah. Let the people love the people. It's fine. Spread the word of God. Let's go. A peasant man from the castle of Eire is brought before me, and no matter what the guards do, he will not stop dancing, trailing blood from mangled feet. Oh no, the dancing plague. Oh no. Pray for deliverance at a shrine dedicated to the saint. Uh, let's try and contain the dancing mania. Because the Dancing Plague is even worse. Ah. Lordship of Erir. Eriri? Eriri? Not sure. Somewhere. Let's go do that. My business here is done. Alright. Let's go. Out of this. There we go. We are... Yeah, we're winning this battle. And we beat them. Sadly, not thoroughly enough that they are just disintegrating. But we might just have whittled them down far enough to achieve that in the next few battles. Where are you going? So what's going on with you now? You completely broke apart. Like, there's nothing left. It's all little bits and pieces now. East Anglia is fighting Countess of Cambridgeshire for the Earldom of Suffolk. I... Oh! Okay, they actually have some troops here because they are allied with the Chiefdom of Alborg. Oh no, actually. They just bring... They just bring it to the table. Look at that. 
Wow. Special soldiers, 3,104. Okay, special... Sometimes through events you might get special soldiers. Uh, it's a little bit weird. Spending time with Brigitte is always good for me. Sure. Our friend and the Duchess there. Do we have a new thing? I... I... I don't really see anything. Let's destroy this milk tooth here. It gives us 40 gold. Destroying gray artifacts is uh, is my hobby, is my passion. In real life, just as much as in Crusader Kings. I tend to go and find gray artifacts and just destroy them and then out comes 40 gold pieces. I wish it would say sell, just because it makes so little sense that if you destroy it, you get money. Okay, very good. We captured a valuable prisoner in this battle. See, it sometimes makes sense to do that. Uh, but he doesn't actually give us anything in terms of war school. Big shame. But it, it's going to tick up. We're just going to get it in a moment. We just have to be patient and wait. And while we do that, we're going to split our army in a way where they don't starve while they actually go and wait. So uh, I think we'll split around here in Staffordshire. There's a lot of... Um, a lot of baronies that can support a large amount of numbers. So if we split them like this, that's going to be fine. And they can take on food again. Now they can sit around there and wait until a war is done. We don't have a court physician. Oh, boy. Uh, a treacherous ravener. Sure, let's take our patriarch. He likes us well enough. And he's pff, competent. Somewhat. But we can ransom everyone, basically. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of money there. Let's go with the ones that can pay in full first. But that's a lot of high-ranked prisoners we have here. It's a lot of money in our, our table there. And we've won. So Frisia is done with us. Now we disband our troops and we go clean up this stuff here. Oh. Um... All right. Ooh. Okay, so these guys are attacking down here. So that's our vassals taking more, more space. These guys... You are allied and you have a truce. Why? Did you lose or did you win? I think you lost. But look at them. Look at how cute they are. Look at how cute they are. With their 650 little troops. <laughs> let's go. Let's go clean up our island here, shall we? Let's take Norfolk and Suffolk. First, because it's the biggest thing we can take in one go. And we'll just come from here. And we're only going to go raise our men-at-arms. And a local army. Just so there's a little bit of meat between... Our proper good troops and uh, the enemy, basically. And we'll just go straight for his capital here. He comes straight out and tries to take something of ours, but that's fine. I don't mind too much. Wait. Um, Lancaster is ours now. Let's see... Let's check our heirs here, our children. Anyone in need of another holding? Duke Gregory of Wessex. Our main heir. Let's give him this. It's not really his, legally speaking. It's not de jour his, but that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Hello, Edgar Hilario. I think... That's all you've ever asked. I love it. You come here. You have only one question and one question only. And that is what, what religion are we? Right now we are insularists. So a organized Christian faith. Uh, we are already insularism. Insularist. Insularistic. Um, do you want to read this? I'm not quite sure what you what you need. What you need to be satisfied with your question here. Does that help? Is that good? 
Vows of poverty. Yeah. Create new Christianity, faith, equity. It's a little bit like talking to a, to a chatbot sometimes. Um, I can't, really. I don't, I don't have any piety whatsoever. So not this moment. Eventually, we might. But at this point, we can't. We're just cleaning up the island at this very moment. Ipswich. Anyone want Ipswich? This guy. He would like Ipswich back. It was his witch. Whose witch was it? Ipswich. So we could usurp this petty kingdom here. 250 gold, 300. Ah, I don't care. There's a lot of gold for nothing. Let's see. Who could use a little bit more? You are the ruler of Leinster. Ah, we'll just keep giving it to our boy. Oh, main ear. We can then redistribute it later. That's fine. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, Derby? Darby? Or Lindsay? Oh, we have a... Look at faith in your land. Sure. Here you go. So we got insular pretty much all across Ireland and Catholic mixed on the main island at the moment. We're not looking to really go and do that. The hardest part of making a new religion is coming up with a name. Truth. Truth. Right there. Though I think we did well in our Carpathia playthrough. We were the servants of the lamb. Because they have an icon that is just a lamb with a with a cross. So I really like that. That was a that was a good one. That was a real good one. Alrighty, let's go. I think. Yeah, insularism is very much contained to the islands. As it kind of says, you know, right in the name. But we're working on it. We're working on it. Another... Sure, I'll take that ransom money. So we can't attack them because we just took that from them. But we can take... Oh. This Earl is our prisoner, so we can't actually attack him. Call to war. To the benevolent King, uh, High King Sebastian of Alba, I call to honor our alliance... Um, a holy war for the Valiada of Rosano as an attacker. Okay, I will join the holy war. I will do so. So, are we defending here or what? No, we are attacking. We are attacking what? Where? Tunis? No, we're not attacking Tunis. What and where are we fighting for, my boy? Okay, uh, we are fighting for this. So, mm, nope. Almost had it. So we click it once. And then we double click here. And that moves us to where we need to be. And we're fighting for this thing. Uh, this little bit of the Italian boot. And I have literally no way of getting there. In any sensible way, shape, or form. How many troops are we facing? 6,200. And he has a lot. So I think we're going to go with our local army. And our men at arms. That's what we're going to go with. That's what we're going to send. So it's a few. It's not everyone. But it's our best people on the case. It's right there. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And you just allowed everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that. All right, let's let's go south. Wait a moment. How many does he have? Six thousand. Ah, there might be more coming in. How many does France have? Just France. Six thousand. Ugh, fine. I'm gonna bring a few more men. Okay, let's move our troops down to here, and let's get another flag. Right there. And we'll raise all here. And after they have gathered like 1,000, 2,000 something. Oh, oh, that's too much. So we send 5,000. That's enough. That's half of what we have. Alright. Jordan comes of age. He is a skilled tactician and holy warrior. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. That's actually not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad either. 
So now we go south right there. Which costs us money, mind. I hope they appreciate that. Ah yes, the Duchess. Please, come in. Thank you. I appreciate your praise of our person. Okay, we need a new... Oh, look at that! The strong vassal is also a really good steward. We like that. We like that. We'll take that. No problem. Let's go. Royal Court Grandier goes up. Arranged betrothal. We accept the marriage. Reaffirming our strong alliance with the Franks. Both past, future and present. An inspired person can be sponsored. A merely decent person trying to build brooch. Yeah, you can do that without me. What do we have here? My liege, a word, please. All right, okay. A foul smell is about your lavatories being a little bit broken. And um, we'll just pay and, and make sure that the lavatories are fixed. There are other options, but honestly... With the money we have right now, I'll, I'll I'll happily spend a little bit. That's fine. So this guy we can't attack because we have him prisoner. This this one here is really quite strong. I wish I knew where the special soldiers came from. Must have been some sort of event. Sadly, you can't ever really tell. Oh no, our daughter Bishop Eithner died. Were you called bishop or I? You, were, you were married to Prince Theodoric of Francia, Pope Innocentius's chancellor. That's why you get the title of bishop, because you're not a duchess, but you are married to a bishop. So you are. Christianity is wild out here in the Middle Ages. <laughs> oh, our daughter died. She, de she did not deserve it. Certainly, for true. For, for true, she did not. I think we need to have a party. Get some of that stress gone. Ah, oh, look at that. Our, our vassals are slowly slurping up these uh, free agents here. Let's go and have a little feast. And we'll have a little feast right here in London. Where we have manor houses. And... We don't really want vassal opinion. I don't care about that. That money we can save safely. Prestige we also don't need out of this. So also money saved. Let's get a guest of honor. Maybe Duke Anward of Powys. Just real quick checking if I need to make this man a convert, a true believer. And let's set to befriend this very same Duke. And let's start the feast. What a lovely time ahead of us. 35 prestige for us. Nice. Let's go. Let's get that. And what do we have here? We have... Where are our troops? Oh, they're coming. They're getting there. Oh, we're actually sailing alongside our French allies. That's nice. Oh, look. <laughs> the enemy is passing us. Hello, enemies. You know what? We're going to find ourselves a nice little place to siege here. Look at that. 29 gold to be had. We'll go right there. Because if we land here, we're not going to contribute anything. He's just going to take it and that's going to be that. If we land here, we have a chance of taking something. And we just saw the enemy drive ship around there. So I'm not quite scared. I'm just a little scared. I am always a little bit scared of my choices in war. But let's see what our ally does. 
if we hadn't seen them, I would have made a different choice. Also, I'm very worried about the Empire of Frankia being as big as it is. I mean, we can take them at the moment. We can. But I don't think we're ever going to get this piece of um, of land out of them. Oh, look. They're actually coming to attack North Africa as well. Interesting. Now, will the enemy fleet just kind of land atop of me? Remember that game with the Duchy of Polania? Yeah, I lost two. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, oh, darn. Well, that's how you get into Crusader Kings 3. Or Crusader Kings any number. You play and you lose a bunch and then eventually you will kind of get it done. And, and you figure it out and things are going to be looking up. Has been a while since I really actually lost fully. So... Let's see, we're looking again for the most green text, but here the red text is a little bit too high for me. 95 gold. So I'd rather lose a little bit of prestige and gain some money instead. Now we're seeing the enemy cruise around there in the Mediterranean. Let's see, 46% chance he becomes our friend. Switch the subject to something less contentious. Okay, all of these are good. He becomes our friend, we grow closer to it, or uh, he gains a lot of opinion of us, so... And he becomes our friend, which was our goal of this whole thing, anyhow. So that's great. And now we can nuke our stress, because I don't care about the opinion of these people. This is where I want to be. And all of our stress is gone. And now we go have a little look again. What's the next best target here, money-wise? their capital. So we're just going to go attack Madeira. Or Medjera. Medjera. I don't think that's Madeira. <laughs> okay. There's someone on a horse. We get lively feast for 10 years. Stress gain. Minus 24%. That's great. The feast truly doesn't start until the livestock joins the table. <laughs> Alright. We started in the south of India and pretty much took half of the whole continent, but you will probably lose it all in the succession. Well, congrats on taking half the Indian subcontinent. I'm proud of you. You're doing great. And now a toast to Duke Anarvad. Yes, he was our guest of honor. He's now our friend. So for sure we're going to toast to him. Keep me in your hearts, vassals. Please. And it's all done. Every courtly vassal, seven, gains some opinion of us. Non-courtly vassals also get some. It's all great. I wonder who will come for the next uh, feast. We become an eager reveler. Which is a tiered feature right there. So you go through levels, basically. And uh, we are at zero. And once you get one, you get this. Once you get to two, you get that. Please tooltip show up. Thank you. So that's pretty cool. Um, I, I don't think I've ever really filled these out. Because feasting is very expensive. So I tend to not do that. Now where will the enemy arrive? Oh, they are besieging the war goal. Okay. That means we're safe to do what we're doing right now. So I'll take that any day of the week for sure. Let's see here. By the way, do you guys know if there's a possibility to long-term plan certain Twitch streams? Like, with a certain specific date? Because I can only set a schedule on a, on a weekly basis, basically. I can't be like, okay, on, on this specific day, this happens. Victory. We won. And since we had a lot of war contribution, we get a lot of opinion of our ally or our ally of us. And we get some prestige. The prestige is never really worth it. I wish they would increase that. Still don't want to found a holy order. No, thank you. Yes. I would also like to ransom that Earl here. But let's check first before we do anything. So there's Lindsay. Which we have a truce with. There are these. And there's he. So we need to ransom him. Let's see. Uh, 
vassals. No. Mm. I never know where I need to go for my prisoners. Every single time I do this. Every single time. It's F5. F5. It's F5. F5 is where you need to go for prisoners. So where is that little rascal? That little... There he is. Come on. You're free now. I'll take the money. And then I come and destroy you. <laughs> it's really quite unfair. It's like, come on, you're free now. Enjoy. Let's get going. Oh, look at that. That's a very nice county you got there. Would be a shame if someone took it. And again, we're only going to raise our men at arms. That's all we need to take him down. Oh, a Northman conquest has been declared of somewhere okay fine we rally everyone but our men in arms can already start doing their work here so being tribal has a lot of uh, a lot of advantages honestly so where are they coming for Because they don't have money problems at all. Oh, they're coming for this up there. Ah, uh, shame. We'll have to walk a bit. We'll just finish this. And we'll spread our army around. So we don't take all the supply here. And then we will have to beat back the enemy up there. Let's see. Anatomical studies. We are quite old already. How old are we? 58. I think we're going to go start on Hall of Body. Uh, to get some health perks so we can live longer at this point. So our army are spread around. Meaning these guys are having no trouble with supplies. That's all good. And our men at arms are dealing with the siege here. We're sending some troops there because it's done in a moment anyway, and then we can move our army hall. So this battle is done, and now we can go fight our invading enemy. Um, yeah, okay. We're gonna go by water, it's just quicker. But we'll have to look at this in a moment. Uh, crime cannot be unpunished. My sister. <sighs> lies, lies. Oh no, no lies. Okay, so. A grandson, sure. Give him an insular name. Why is he homely? Well. So we can't land our troops right on top of them. But given the situation here with the islands, we might not even really get any better option because we will have to cross the strait. So it doesn't really matter whether or not we land on them or... It's, there's no barony here. Like these islands are really easily defensible, honestly. Because the attacker will have to take some bad choice. Either we cross the strait or we land directly. I'm not quite sure which, which is worse, so I think a straight crossing will be a little bit worse. Better? Easier? Better? Less harsh? Oh, we should probably win this war here. Let's, let's go do that. Sorry, boy. Okay, Derby. Who does this belong to? Lancaster. Uh, doesn't matter who that belongs to. Because now it belongs to our boy. Our amazing... Boy, grant this title here. Enjoy. You can have all the titles. So our troops are here now. And if we can see here, recently disembarked. So 25 days until that goes away. The enemy is now getting on their ships. Okay. And if we move here, it'll take us 17 days. So we would arrive with recently disembarked. But he's not combining his army. So this is only his peasants. Only his levies which we're taking. So even with crossing a strait, even with having our recently disembarked, it's fine. 
We're still taking them on. Now the enemy does come in, but his troops will also have recently disembarked. So, at least that portion of his troops, not everyone. Actually not looking too good for us, honestly. We're winning, but it's not an easy fight. We're losing some heavy, heavy... These are some heavy losses here. But, that's that. Push them back into the sea. Sadly, you get nothing out of that. Like, defeating them is just... Oh, no. England took more of my land. <sighs> no, in, not England. Frank, yeah. France, my friend. Why? Okay, now we do have to push this immediately before the French uh, take that as well. That's just... That's just unacceptable. Unacceptable. Can't have that. So... Earldom of Cambridgeshire. <laughs> no. We'll go conquer this county. Very just yes. Mainly your own troops still. Impressive stuff. So we raise all. I don't care. We're just gonna throw everything we have at them. I don't want this to be close. I don't want this to be a problem. This just needs to be done. Okay, can you guys gather a little bit quicker, maybe? Oh no, we are infirm, so that's... That's probably it for us, very soon. Let's put in our cousin, vassal, and friend. He's all kinds of things for this. He's not the best for it, but he's also not the worst, so honestly, he'll do fine. Infirm is a problem. Okay, let's let whatever you're trying to gather here, just stop it. We're just going attack right away. Don't even care. Just throw everything at that. Look at them getting some little support here from the side. I appreciate that. We can ransom Akra. Sure. I'll take even not the whole money. It's fine by me. So his ally is coming in trying to fight us off. Very good. And they personally are coming in now. Trying to fight us again. And again. And again. So Infirm is basically... You're dead soon. You can't live a while with it, but... That is pretty much a death sentence. Sadly. So... Oh, look at that. We captured someone right there in the battle, so... Oh, we captured everyone. <laughs> so that's that. Cambridge is now ours, and it belongs to something else. Who has Suffolk? Hmm. I mean, this doesn't exist yet. 87 gold. We'll create it. So if you look at our succession, we're going to lose all these immediately, pretty much. So it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll just give Cambridge to our boy. <laughs> can I give him... Can I give him the... The duchy title as well? No, I cannot. I can't give him that either, because it's promised to another heir. Uh, so we can just give it to that heir who's going to succeed anyhow. So you're going to get this there. So you can have it right away. I don't care. And you can have the high chiefdom as well. So we're making us some difficult enemies for our son once he comes into power. But I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. And we can ransom this chief here. Oh, look at all that money coming in. Lovely. All we need, all we're needing to do right now is get more research done. That's all. 
So we don't have any raiding targets at home anymore. Could go and take these islands there. But why should we? Honestly. So. Now we basically got all we need on this island. Of course France is a bit of a sore. Uh, a little bit of a stone in our shoe if you will. I don't appreciate that too much. Oh. There is a Catholic Lyon. And a Catholic Barcelona. Okay. Reclaim relics. We re reclaim all the... Oh, what? Okay. Fragment of the true cross. This is what he has. And we could just reclaim it. For the low, low price of everything. Wait a moment. That dude is weak as heck. We could just create ourselves a foothold down here. I mean, it's a holy war, yeah? So that's not ideal, but we can just take a whole chunk out there. Get ourselves... A, I would like this bit here. What is that? What is this? Uh, let's get in the duchy title view here. So, Baya... Where is his... Uh, where is his capital here? So what duchy is this? I'd rather have something with a coast. But why not? Why not spread down here? Baya? Sure. Okay. Let's do that. I mean, look at him. He's super weak. He has barely any troops. And since it's a conquer thing, he doesn't get anyone to help him either. He has his ally, that's it. So we're just taking it, basically. Oh, new music. Let's raise our troops here. Oh yeah, that goes hard. Nice. I like that. That is very cool. Yeah. God, do everyone's joints creak like this? We are old and dying. <laughs> Let's see. Can we train for a tournament? Rites of Passage. Okay. Are you kidding me? I'm not doing Rites of Passage. <laughs> um, commission an Epic. I mean, we're kind of at the end of our life there. 111 gold. Yeah, we have it. We do it. Uh, let's see. An Exceptional Epic. High Chance. Unpredictable. Now nah, let's go. Exceptional epic, high chance. Let's get a green item for a high investment of like four, five hundred gold or something. That's usually how it goes for us, isn't it? All right, let's do another prediction, shall we? I think, uh, will we win our war against, uh, will we b win the Alban conquest of the Emirate of Baia? Let's do another prediction. Uh, will we win Alban Conquest of Emirate of Baia? I have to be a little bit careful here. I don't have that many. Um, The, uh, who is he? What is his name? No, Sensir. No, the Sensir King Kingdom wins. 
Ah. There we go. Okay, submission period. A minute. Start prediction. Got it. Darn. Um... I think maybe too many. There we go. Predictions up. Cast your votes now. Will we win this or won't we win this? Let's see. I will gain claims on neighboring titles when the epic is done. Nah. Nah. I will gain more renown when the epic is done. Yes, 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 yes. Family history, generous. Let's go. We want that. Okay, uh, tough soldier, our daughter. There we go. Grow up so fast. Isn't it lovely? Wait. Is it working or not? The prediction. I have some odd information here. Conflicting information. <laughs> I think it is working. But, I don't know. Okay, no idea. I'm not sure if that went through proper. Let's see. I will put him up as long as it takes. Okay. Yeah, we want that ex exceptional epic. I'm, I'm fine with paying a lot of money. Wait a moment. Didn't we have like 1,500 gold a moment ago? Ah, yeah, I mean, boarding troops costs a bunch. For sure. So how many troops do you actually have? 4,500 still. So we're landing now and we're attacking and until they show up we should have recently disembarked taken away from us. Um, increased chance of producing an exceptional epic. Yeah, I think we'll start with that. Our daughter can marry. There's a new alliance on the horizon, but I think we'll just go for matrilineal high alliance power. High chiefdom of Moray, that's an internal alliance. I think that's that's okay. I will take the last full boy. Doesn't really matter. So he's a vassal of ours. Alliance secured as well. So... McTheran of Moray, this guy here, won't be a bother to us. I'm quite sure. Well, I don't know where the Zinks here are, but they're not facing us just yet. Dynasty Korku Luig gained 75 renown. Um, okay. The Song of Our People. I've asked for this to begin with. Am I just... Wait, am I... Am I just... Am I just getting... Some renown and not the epic I paid for. Okay, we're fighting someone who's fighting them. Not ideal, not terrible, but there he is. He takes to the field, but he's not attacking us yet. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, let's see. A friend till the end. Hush, Sebastian. It's me, Anamard. Oh, how it pains me to see you like this. I wish I could do something, anything to ease your discomfort. Please stay with me. We get a caring friend giving us a medium health boost. Very good. This might be the greatest song ever written. So this gives 0 0.08 prestige per month. Oh boy, that was... Wasted money. Ah. Ugh. 
Oh, like, ooh. This hurts. Yeah. See ya, buddy. Thanks for the book. Ugh. Let's hope it's at least better than anything that we already have. Please be better than something that we already have. Um, let's see, just the books here. Oh no, it's worse than everything we already have. Uh, okay, so we're gonna give it to our heir. <laughs> That's how it's gonna go. Is it worse than what we have? Yes. Give it to our heir. Here. Duke Gregory can't equip it. I don't care. Take it. I don't want it. Do with it as you wish. My boy, you'll you'll know what to do. But it's looking good so far. It's looking good. The enemy is... I don't know what they're doing. Who are they fighting here anyway? What is this? Reclaim Relics War. Okay. Which is not a war we are fighting. So we're back here. We'll attack these enemies standing right there. Okay, they... They sawed off. And we're gonna split our army. Right there. And take the one that doesn't have our siege engines over there. But we need to kick our good commander out here. So he can be a good commander right there. So... And then we can put in this guy here. So that's fine. Okay, our enemy is looking to retake what we have taken. Let's see how far we get in our siege before we make a choice there. If this is very quick... Four months left. And our siege is... what? Four months left. 2.4 per day. 1.6 per day. But we are going to be attacked for a moment. So this takes us out. It slows things down. We need a new Chancellor. And we can take our friend. He's pretty decent at it. Or we can take our player air. So he gains a little bit out of doing this while he's doing it. So that slowed us down slightly, because during the battle, of course, our siege is not making any progress. Smallpox. Oh no, the smallpox has appeared. Let's put that guy away. Put him in a cupboard somewhere. But not under the stairs. He might join a wizard skull, and that's not great. So right now, I'm not sure if I'm making the right uh, decision here. He's taking something that we need, and we're taking something that we need. So I think it's pretty much almost... Oh, no. Always slow down on succession. And I'll, I'll stop the video uh, recording for YouTube right here. If you're watching this over on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Come join the Twitch as well, because that's where we're going to keep going right now. If you're watching over on YouTube, you're going to be a little bit behind on all of that. Um, but that's okay. And on the next episode, we're going to deal with all this. With our little succession situation here. Taking over as High Green Gregory Mech Sebastian of Alba. So thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe, all that. If you have questions, just go in the comments. Or join the Twitch and ask your questions in the Twitch stream directly. Bye.